What is up everybody, my name is Zach. Welcome back to Case Digital. In this video, we're answering the question how to check multiple conditions in an if statement in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What up everybody, so welcome back. Like I mentioned, in this video we're tackling the question of how to handle multiple conditions in an if statement. So I kinda wanna give everyone a breakdown of the, how, how this video is gonna go. First, for those that weren't with us on one of our previous videos where we talked about creating an if statement in Python, I wanna kinda give a brief overview of how to do that real quick, and then I wanna go into how many, can, how many conditions can you actually have in an if statement in Python, and then lastly, how to actually handle all of those multiple conditions at once. So without further ado, let's hop right into the first part. So like I mentioned, the first part of this video, we're just going to recap what an if statement is and the syntax for it. And so really quickly, this is the basic syntax for an if statement in Python. Um, granted, a lot of times you'll see it without the parentheses. So you'll see something more along the lines of if condition colon and then you do your, uh, everything underneath that falls underneath is indented. The stuff that's that you want to be ran in the if statement is indented. And then you do your code that you want to run. So say, let's we, let's just say we want to print out uh, hello world. So we just say print hello world. So now, um, and we actually have to give the condition variable, variable a value. Condition is equal to true. So now if we run this, that's going to say like, hey, if condition, print out hello world. And so if we do that here, we can say Python, the name of our file, which is Python examples. Um, we run it, it says hello world. And why does it why does it run if when it just says if condition? Because what happens is an if statement, it will, it'll run the if code under the premise that whatever you're trying to compare to is equal to true. So for instance, we set condition equal to true, so automatically it just says if condition, so that's true, so if true, then print hello world. If we change this to false and ran it, you'll see that we get nothing. But now if we change this condition, e and we wanna say if condition equals false, which we know it does, print this, and we get hello world. Um, if we change condition value back to true, we'll see that this this boolean uh, this uh, boolean logic or this out, out, this logic here is not true because true does not equal false because that's what we're substituting with that variable and so it won't run. So that's our recap on what an if statement is in Python and how to create one in Python. Okay, so we just recapped how to create an if statement in Python. We've gone over the syntax, the keywords, how it all how it all looks, and what how it performs. So now let's uh, before we dive into how we can combine multiple if statements now we can check multiple if statements um, in Python let's first answer the question of how many conditions are allowed in an if statement and I think this is really key because for instance the technical answer is one now before you turn off the video and think I'm crazy let me answer why the reason being is an if statement is basically just evaluating some boolean algebra expression whether that's just checking a flag like we did here whether it's true or false or if you want to do something where it's like checking in between say uh, for example checking if someone's age is between between one value or another. So let's have that example. So I can have, I can break this question out. So say we have a person who's 20 and we wanna see if they're above 18 or if they're um, 21 or below. And essentially how you do that is you can say, um, hey, condition one, is this person above or equal to 18? Okay, perfect. Condition two, is this person below or equal to 21? Now, that's all fine and, and, and good. And if we run these, we'll see that um, I can I can do a uh, condition one and I can say, um, we'll just have it print the age. So if I say Python, Python examples, I run this, we'll see that we got it. It printed out 20 and that's because, well, condition one is true, like I stated here, because 20 is greater than or equal to 18. Now, well, okay, that's one condition. Well, let's go to the other one. We try that. And if I print this, again, I get the age because 20 is less than or equal to 21. Well, technically we wanted to che check the, um, we wanted to check to see if a person is between an age. And each of these individual conditions um, are great, but they're only half of the problem. So you have to kind of make them, you have to kind of combine them like we did in condition three to see if they are true. And whether you're just putting in variables like this or you're actually writing out this whole thing, you can see that technically I'm only putting in one Boolean algebra expression into an if statement and it's evaluating it. That Boolean algebra expression though may have multiple parts or conditions to it, but technically I'm only putting in one condition into an if statement. So let's dive into this here in a sec on how you can handle multiple conditions in an if statement. 
Hey, I just want to jump in real quick, say thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And well, speaking of programming, let's get right back to it. I know that is probably kind of blowing your mind that you technically only can have one condition in an if statement. But let's talk about what you're really asking is when you ask the question of how can I combine um, or how can I check multiple conditions in an if statement, there's essentially two ways you can go about this. There's like I mentioned before, you can combine them all into one like this. You can essentially say, hey, like, let me create, um, let me have this condition and this condition and and then how do I combine it? Well, you're combining it through the use of and, and, or, and usually or. So you can also do or here. And what's the difference between the two? Well, and essentially is gonna say, both of these conditions have to evaluate to true before it'll execute this print. So if condition one is false, that means it's not gonna do it. So for instance, if I change this um, to two, you'll see that it's not gonna print out. And that's because two is not greater than or equal to 18, um, even though it is less than or equal to 21. So when you're when you're talking about checking multiple conditions in an if statement, you're essentially gonna combine all these things together, all these individual conditions together, you're gonna piece them all together until they get you kind of what you're trying to do. And if that's checking an age rate, uh, checking in between an age difference or certain values, essentially that's what you can do. Now, if you don't care whether either one certain condition or another Another is false, um, you can do an or. So what an or basically says is if at least one of these is true, then execute. So even though that's two, we run this again, you're gonna see that we get two printed out because it didn't meet condition one, but it did meet condition two, so we're gonna print it. And you could do this multiple different ways. Um, you can do another and here with like condition, condition number five, and then an or. And that could get pretty complicated. And what a lot of times people will do is essentially, the, this is kind of where if parentheses and if statements come in, where you'll do this type of thing. Like, hey, like, as long as one of these are true and that meets, that matches um, this condition, say six, then I want to, then I want to do this, you know, print this out. That's, that's pretty much how you check multiple conditions and if statements. Another way people go about it, a lot of times people go about it this way. They put it all on one, on the first initial condition. Sometimes though, that that can get kind of complicated um, or can kind of get confusing because you're looking at it and be like, oh, condition one or two and this and this, and how does this all work together and, and blah, blah, blah. A lot of times what people can do as well is you can do if condition one, then what people will do, they'll do what's called a nested if, and you'll say if condition two. So if both of these two are evaluated, then, then print this out. And as you can see here, we didn't get anything printed out. And that's because this is the same thing as doing this right here. So this, um, excuse me, this these lines 10 through um, 13 are the same as if you just did if condition one and condition two print H. Now, if we ran this again, you're gonna see that nothing happens. And that's because two is doesn't match this condition. And since we're using an and here that says, well, it doesn't, both of them are not gonna be true. So no use in evaluating this one, go on. And that's the same thing down here. It says this is false. So we that's not what we wanted. So go down. And then if, if this goes to 20 though, you see that we get age printed out twice. And that's because this is true, this is true, based off of up here. And what happens down here is it goes, okay, condition one, age is greater than or equal to 18, age is 20. So yes, that's true, okay, next line. Oh, we're gonna, we hit another if statement. So let's evaluate that. That says if age is less than or equal to 21. Well, age is 20, so that's true. Okay, well, now we'll go in here and evaluate this. And you can do, people do, like you could do if, you know, condition three, and so on and so forth, just as, as we did here. And sometimes you may have a thing, um, you may have a situation where you wanna evaluate, hey, did I hit a certain value? Perfect, okay, now let's combine and condition three down here. And then you do something like this. So that is essentially the basics on how you check multiple conditions in an if statement. Um, essentially, you're only creating your dis by taking by having multiple conditions. You're basically combining them into one condition that you want it to check um, technically, and it's evaluating that Boolean algebra because technically the Boolean algebra or the if statement will evaluate one Boolean algebra expression, and that can just be made up of multiple conditions. So. I hope that helps. If it's providing value, click that like button below. Um, subscribe if you aren't subscribing and keep on watching.